happy February. Feels like this one came sooner than I was expecting. Not sure what was going on in January, but it seems like it was a fast month. Uh, yeah, that could be. That could be. Only got three weeks. Well, I hope you missed us anyway. I think we've given everybody enough time to get here if they were going to get here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for anyone that is new or hasn't attended recently, uh, we do want to keep things uh, limited to just the uh, front end website. Uh, that's, that's the only thing we can answer here. So if you have governance questions, stuff like that, unfortunately, I can't answer those. Um, Normally we do a little bit of, hey, what's new? Um, this is what we've been working on for the last month, uh, and then open it up to questions. I also gave everybody homework last month. Uh, hopefully you, you've done some thinking about it, so we'll get to that as well. And without any further ado, I think I'm ready to go. Any questions before I get going? No? Great. Um, okay, so January, like, uh, happy happy back to work day, um, happy back to work month. Uh, we don't have, uh, as I mentioned last time, we don't have any particularly big ticket items that we were ready to deliver in January. Um, in fact, we've been kind of working on uh, stuff that we expect to see come out this month. Uh, so last month was mostly things that we expect to see uh, come out this month. And on that list is an update to um, the the way the destination guide looks. Um, we've been doing a lot of kind of backend uh, infrastructural work on the destination guide to make that easier and uh, more effective for us to maintain and um, to start, you know, kind of give us new functionality that we can start playing with uh, going forward. So making it better for third party viewers, for example, uh, adding those widgets in, uh, making it easier for us to update them so that it can be updated more frequently, uh, giving us the ability to um, r uh, rank them better, um, you know, making sure that there's actually people inside your your destinations um, when you you hit the destination guide things along those lines um, should also come with a, a nice little facelift um, so expect to see that in February and that's kind of the big ticket item on on the back end we're doing a lot of work to uh, support marketplace variants so this is work that we've talked about before uh, and no Lucy I don't know exactly when that's going to release to the public um, but we're doing all of the, the infrastructural work to support it as we speak. So um, that's, that's the hardest part, generally, uh, and our designers are working on what that will actually look like uh, on the front end as well. So once we have those designs in and the infrastructural work is out uh, and we have the resources, we will then push forward on making those actually real for, for the world. I would say Q2 is probably a really strong strong contender um, for when that will actually be fully released. Uh, but so that's that's kind of the main main big push uh, is trying to get those in. Uh, and then anything else we can do to kind of just keep things up to date. So we've been doing a lot of uh, like OS upgrades and um, code base up upgrades uh, to just kind of keep those, keep those up, keep them secure, keep them you know, <laughs> really just up. <laughs> um, and that's, that's kind of it. I know I went fast. 
Uh, and the reason why I went fast is because I actually want to talk about our homework. Um, does anybody have any quick questions about what I have just said in terms of what our activity was for the last month? It doesn't sound like a lot, and I will grant you that, but trust me, there's a lot of work going in there, and uh, when it actually all kind of comes out, it should look pretty nice. Oh, I guess the other thing that's kind of fun is that, um, you know how I talked about uh, we're uh, outsourcing some expertise for, uh, for search? That team has come on board uh, literally this week. So um, the next, let's call it six months or so, we're going to be really heavily playing around with uh, the way search works with the goal, of course, to be more relevant. Um, Lucy, not yet. Uh, they, they just, they just started yesterday. So no, no specifics proposed yet. Ask me again in March. You might never get to meet them. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I certainly won't be calling them out by name, uh, unless they want to be called out by name. Uh, same as I do with everybody else here. I'm the only one you get to talk to. Okay, so everybody remember your homework? I do. We we're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, so number one, let's start with, would you like Q&A on the marketplace? So as a refresher, what we're talking about here is very similar to what you might see on Amazon, um, where a product has uh, questions that uh, you know individuals, either prospective uh, buyers or uh, previous buyers, might ask of the greater community or potentially directly to the um, to the the seller. Uh, we have not yet necessarily said that this will be only answerable by the seller or whether it will be answerable by verified purchasers and the seller. But in my head. It's one of the two of those. Uh, it's certainly not going to be anyone uh, and their brother can put in answers. That's that's just open for abuse. And I don't want to give us more abuse vectors. That seems silly. Um, but it seems somewhat reasonable for someone to say, hey, you know, can I also get this in red and have the product owner say, yes, as a matter of fact, here's a listing for it in red, right? Something along those lines. So. What do we think? I see a bunch of no's. No, no, no. Interesting. Hope, do you want to explain why you're so vociferously no? Oh, you did. Okay, hold on. I mean, sorry. I was scrolling up to try and catch all the... In enough crap in reviews. Okay, so from a, from a lister, from a, a content creator perspective, this just seems like more spam to you. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
because it's currently on my chat window, um, Lucy, I'm just going to uh, real quick speak to that and then I'll, I'll start scrolling back up again. Um, I, I, I acknowledge that there's lots of social media um, and, and outside groups that already exist for these things, Discord, that kind of stuff. Um, the, the hope is that we can provide something that's useful in the client so that people don't have to go find the outside media and Discord and whatnot, specifically looking at, you know, newer users who may not already be savvy to the, you know, the, the groups. Um, but let me continue scrolling all the way back up. See, I like this. Everybody's chatty today. I have scrolled up to Garfield saying that he was happy to do an intro, so I'm scrolling back down now. Brooke, I am reading your reply. Okay, so anecdotally you're saying you spoke with many merchants about the ask a question button and no one wants it. And you have said also uh, neither do you. So I now have two Two votes for no one wants this. Uh, Aglaya, so it could be for user support or it could just be for asking questions about the product before the customer buys it. Um, it could be for either. I'm not necessarily sure yet. That's why we're having this conversation. Um, it's kind of, you know, do we want something like this? And if so, what, what, what shape would it take? Uh, nothing is, I'm not here dictating to you that you're going to get it. Uh, okay, so Aglaya, the next one that I see is also from you, uh, preferring an easier way for the customer to contact the seller, like a clickable link on the marketplace product that opens a chat window to the seller. That seems really potentially abusive. Uh, if I am somebody that I just want to troll you, I can just keep opening chat windows through a marketplace link. I feel like that's, that would be very frustrating. Convince me that that wouldn't be frustrating. All right, Draconis, I've gotten to yours now. So here's the thing, like have to regularly watch and answer questions is, I mean, I, I argue with that word have to. Um, we could certainly make it so that you don't have to include you know, the ability to ask questions on any of your listings. Or you could say, hey, this listing in particular, I want to be able to answer questions about. Um, or you could say my entire store. Um, but the the idea here is to give, uh, give content creators options as opposed to create obligations for the content creators. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. So, uh, Sylvie, oh. the, oh, what happened there? Uh, Sylvie, <laughs> so the, the reason why to put it on the product listing is, is kind of almost an FAQ, uh, type of idea. If, if you've get 10 people all messaging you in world about the same question, wouldn't it be easier if that question was just in one place on the product listing? That's the idea. I mean, sure. You can get messages in the world and you can answer them there. Um, it would be kind of more as a, hey, this way, anybody else that already has this question, the answer is right there. And they don't have to message you in warm. 
the voice there so anybody else that is distracted by it feel free to do the same uh alessa so a portal uh, where questions, feedback, customer support goes to the notifications and then have the notifications be repliable. Yeah, I mean, so the, the idea here is is to create something that is anyone who has maybe a similar question about your product can see it without having to having to message you. Um, you know, so it, it would just be in the one place uh, and it would be kind of public, right? as opposed to creating a, a, a place for a specific customer to have a specific dialogue with just you and that only being available to them, which isn't, you know, that's no different from them just messaging you in world. Not really. It's not new functionality. Okay. So Panther, I think you're the only one I've seen up so far that says, Yes, I might actually want this. <laughs> it's just you and me. Uh, Arabella, I don't know that we're forgetting that. You could certainly ask questions in different, um, different languages and answer them in different languages. Um, I mean, it's the nature of it is a conversation between a prospective buyer and, and the seller. So we're not, we're not dictating that that must happen in American English. I agree. I mean, if the, if if it's just a straight FAQ, you could just add that to the description. That's possible. Um, you know, that's that's true in other platforms as well, right? And we're just we're looking at other marketplace type platforms and saying, what do they do? What is useful? What is helpful to both customers and for content creators? Um, this is one of those things that is frequently uh, utilized on other platforms. So I'm just discussing whether or not it would be useful here. But yeah, I mean, you could always just throw your own FAQs in your descriptions. Although descriptions, I think, have a limited length. Uh, so doing so would necessarily impede on your character count. Uh, so Asian, we're working on that good search engine. <laughs> um, the fair review system is, we're, we're still working on what, what constitutes fair. Everybody has an opinion. And if you ask five people, you're going to get five different answers. Uh, 
All right, I have reached the end of my scroll back. I believe I've heard everybody's responses for Q and A's. Um, at the moment, it, it doesn't sound like there's a whole lot of desire at the moment. Um, so let me take that back to the drawing board and maybe in some future month, I might come back with a, a better straw man. Like what if we did it like X uh, and see what y'all think. But uh, heard loud and clear that as a general concept, meh seems to be the answer. But don't worry, we had another question. It was, what do you think about the marketplace store brands versus alts, uh, store sub brands, pardon me. So the, this idea is as opposed to just creating an, you know, a new, like a new kind of sub store, if you will, using an alt, what about having a sub store that is linked to your main account, like a sub brand? We get, we get requests for this a lot. Um, and predictably the infrastructure is not currently in place to allow that, right? Like there's, there's a whole lot of assumptions all over the code that there is one marketplace store per one avatar, right? Um, but, uh, and the, the traditional answer for, well, I want to have two marketplace stores. Um, you know, the, the traditional answer there is great, create a null, right? Um, and that's semi-useful, um, but potentially not there. I, I personally can think of a number of reasons why I might want to have multiple stores under the same avatar the same account. So I'm curious what we think about that. This is a much larger piece of work to actually implement than say Q and A would be. So Uh, Lucy, so I cannot explain sub-brands and how it will work. That's literally the question that we're asking here. How would you like it to work? So you tell me. How do you think it should work? I see a lot of yeses. All right, so this looks like a, you know, like, yes, yes, this would all be great. So now I'm, I'm back to the same question I had for Lucy, uh, which is, okay, cool. How would you like it to work? Like what's, what's your, what's your pie in the sky? So let's, let's talk about that. And I'm sure many of you are already pasting that in there. I just haven't gotten to it yet. I read slow.
Okay, so Draconis, so what I'm reading from yours is that there wouldn't necessarily be any link between the two stores uh, in your your ideal world here. Um, it would just be a way for you to manage two different separate stores from the same avatar. You know, so the, the, the revenue stream goes to the same place. You only have to log one in in order to, you know, change the various listings, that kind of thing. Is that... Is that accurate? Yeah, okay. All right, scrolling back up to see what everybody else is saying. Lucy, you were supposed to think on it all month. That was the point. It's the homework. You didn't do your homework. So it looks like most of what I'm seeing here is actually the desire to see two different stores as opposed to i was actually kind of envisioning an actual sub brand right so it's the same it's the same store um more or less right but it's like i don't know uh in in lucy's you know like it could be lucy daughter of the devil store and then like lucy daughter of the devil after dark right for the the more mature stuff um I, i'm not I'm not sure exactly. That's kind of the reason why, you know, like, hey, what what does sub brands mean to you? Uh, okay, Asian, I like this. So maybe there's a, a single home page on the marketplace for you know, a, a given content creator that says, okay, cool, you know, here's, let's call it like my main page, my main store, and here are all the various sub-brands that, you know, I have, and they're separated listings. Uh, so a user might say, cool, you know, like I really want to hang out with what Spidey's doing. Uh, I think Spidey makes really good stuff. So show me more from Spidey Linden. Oh, Spidey Linden has you know, Spider brand and Linden brand and, you know, uh, Tito brand, right? Like, okay, cool, cool. I'm going to go through, um, you know, and, and check all of those. I'm reading. Yeah, I think no matter what, we would have to build out the dashboard for sure. Alessa, I think that's right. I have to yell at me. So we, so I'm I'm curious, and and don't take this as a negative because I don't mean it that way. Why? Out of curiosity, why do you want a flagship store and then sub stores for specialty items? 
like what is that for you know as a as a content creator as a seller what is that what does that get you um the more i know why you want that the better i can actually create something that might help you do that So, I mean, okay, so you have different items, right? Um, and, and those are, so what is the, the problem with those different items being, you know, in your store, uh, all kind of together? Does it, does it create confusion amongst your customers? Does it make it hard for you to keep track of which one is which? So my, my second question then is if, if, you know, we want to move away from confusing our customers, right? So I, I'm a content creator. I like making penguins. I like making uh, snowshoes and I like making motorcycles, right? Um, you know, these are the things and I want to sell all of those, but I understand that people looking for snowshoes and penguins might not necessarily be looking for motorcycles. So I don't want to confuse my customers. Um, what is, what is the reason why I want to have all three of those under the same main store, but separated, right? As opposed to saying, well, this is my motorcycle store and this is my penguin store and this is my snowshoe store, right? Like they're separate stores which, you know, at, at the way it currently works under separate, um, you know, separate avatars. Can, Aglaia, can you expand more on uh, main problem being marketing and visual identity? I like the thing that Jenny said about um, she might want everybody to know that she made it, but that some of her stuff is full perm and some of her stuff is houses. So she could have her Jenny's full perm store and her separate Jenny's houses store to not have people think that her houses were also full perm. I like that. Right. So, Aglaia, right. So, I, I agree with that, right? So, if you're making animals, you want it to have a logo with an animal and not one that fits with motorcycles. So, in my mind, that's two separate stores as opposed to a sub brand of the same store. Does that make sense? Right. Um, so, that being the case, if it's two separate stores, why, why then would the uh, just create to literally do what we do now, which is create two, two stores. Why, why does that not work for that particular use case? It's true. Hope people do not read. Ah, okay. So the real thing that we want to do here is maintain your current 
reviews and you know kind of store uh cache if you will but be able to separate things out so the the actual use case is not i want separate stores necessarily and to keep things separate it's that i want to be able to keep all of the reviews for the same items uh, that are currently in the same store but move it in in such a way that it's you know easier to differentiate for the customer is that right yeah okay that makes sense good point and yeah draconis i'm i'm totally with you i i'm, I'm throwing out the the alt and, and separate store kind of as a straw man argument here um just to try and generate conversation about what we exactly you know what what do we actually want from having a a sub brand or a you know a separate store scenario um i acknowledge that separate stores on separate accounts is actually kind of a pain in the butt to manage totally heard Okay, um, I want to workshop this one too. I, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm totally clear on exactly what the, how to do this in the right way that actually gets people what they want. I'm, I will say that I'm sold that I think this is a good idea. I need to figure out how to implement it correctly, um, and then once we figure out how to implement it correctly in a way that actually gets people what they. Are looking for then we can talk about roadmap and how to resource it and where it fits and all that other stuff um, but I think it makes sense to at least think more about this <laughs> well so the problem Lucy here is that while it may be a better idea better idea than q and it's also a lot harder to fit in we, we can make Q and A pretty quickly. <laughs> this, this is change the way marketplace works on a fundamental level, <laughs> um, which is similar to saying rewrite marketplace from the ground up. Jenny, it's, it's not so much that we don't know how to do it or that we can't. It's how do we fit it in and give everybody all the other stuff that they want to. Sylvie probably wouldn't necessarily require a total overhaul of the site, although it probably would anyway, um, but requires a strong word. I don't think it would require that, but it would require a complete overhaul of the back end because right now there's, like I said earlier, all of these assumptions that there's one store per one alt, and that's built in pretty much everywhere. We'd have to change that everywhere. And the complexity of going from a one to two or a zero to multiple um, is order of magnitudes as opposed to a plus one. Draconis, all I can do is try and hope and try and keep up. This job is largely about bailing out a sinking ship with a teacup. Just just trying to stay above water. You can never get it all out. Just trying to bail faster than it's coming in. Sylvie, I like that idea. Link alts to a main account it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> uh, that's that's a good outside of the box thinking right there. Don't think I'm not going to steal that.
Right, of course. No, no, no. It, it would be choice. Yeah, you'd say, uh, you know, yeah, the, I want to link these two stores together in some way. It doesn't necessarily solve for the problem that Aglaya was mentioning, where she wants to actually pull a currently existing store and, you know, put it into two separate ones. Uh, but it at least, it solves for one side of the equation, not the other. But hey, it potentially solves for one side of the equation. You will not get royalties from that idea, but you will get to, um, you know, benefit from the, the good idea. This is good conversation. I, I do, I don't want to stop it, um, but I'm looking at the clock. We have about 15 minutes left and I normally like to leave some time for a uh, question and answer. So let's table this for now, even though I know we're still talking about it uh, and I'm enjoying everything that we're saying. So we can come back to this. Uh, I want to open it up to wider Q and A. Mars, what can I tell you about plus now? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, the only thing I can tell you about Plus right now is that we're targeting for Q2. Uh, so that's, that's somewhat some news. I'm actually talking about vague timelines. Oh, did I say that last time? Darn it. All right, fine. Um, I, yeah, I, I guess I don't have more. Sorry about that. I know the scope of work, um, but until we release it publicly, I can't, I can't do it here. There will be a big rollout of like, here's what it'll look like. Here's what you'll get. Here's how much it'll cost. Here's why you want it. Here's why it's okay to not have it. All that stuff. Oh no, <laughs> Lucy just rewatched the whole meeting. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> stay honest. Uh, Aglaya, we saw that Jira. Um, in fact, we saw it this morning uh, in our feature triage. Uh, it's in my, it's in my queue to think harder about. So you've been heard. Draconis, why is the LSL wiki not on HTTPS? Which is to say, why is the main wiki not HTTPS? That's a good question. I don't have a good answer for you. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Um, the best thing I can say is that we've a while ago stopped supporting that directly. Um, so we haven't made any changes to the, uh, the wiki. In many years. <laughs> We want to leave all leave it all up there because you know it's all good information, but we haven't made any changes to it. So yeah, sorry that it's not secure. Okay, hope. How well do the governance team know the marketplace rules? Well. The governance team that actually works on the marketplace, uh, so the ones that are reviewing 
the the marketplace uh you know reviews and and um flags and all that other stuff know the rules extremely well they wrote them um so i have utmost confidence in their ability to uh, know the rules past that I, I can't you know it's a governance thing which you know Yeah, Draconis, so that's uh, that's kind of what I was getting at. We stopped supporting it, so no one can update it. It's essentially set in stone. It's an archive at this point. Uh, I'd love for something more modern and um, useful that we, we could own and support for that. Uh, the best I've got is a knowledge base at the moment. But beyond my, beyond my ken. Honey, I, I don't know the best way to get flags actioned. Um, again, that's, that's up to a whole different team. We just do the engineering. We don't handle any of the the governance. Uh, okay, so hope uh, events, right, right. Um, there is still some spam in there, um, despite adding some fees. I agree. Uh, we have not made any direct progress on adding a report button to events. Um, and given all of the drama that comes from report buttons on Marketplace, I'm surprised that you are requesting this. <laughs> However... However, uh, we are planning to redo the way events work uh, in the near future, so I'll keep it in mind. Um, certainly, it's something that you could, if you have not already ordered a um, feature request for, I would submit it. I think it's a reasonable request. Hope, yes, again. We're never done tinkering. Things can always be better. Did you not hear the conversation earlier? There's always more stuff to do. Although, if you're here to tell me that events work perfectly and don't need any upgrading whatsoever, I'm happy to hear it. While you're at it, tell me how pretty my eyes are. Thank you, thank you. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Jenny, we're thinking about it. Uh, Lucy, asking question, what dictates best answer in the QA section of the forums as number of votes clearly does not? Is this assignable by the OP or only LL? Oh, I have no idea. It's a great question, and I have no clue. I can maybe go find the answer for that for you, but, but off the top of my head, 
I'm not sure where best answer comes from. Yeah. Come on, I get back to you on things. Don't act like I don't. I will make sure that Plus comes with a free re unicorn. Maybe. I'll argue strongly for Plus coming with a free, re free unicorn. It's just going to be called Courtesy of Reed. Obviously a rainbow unicorn. Grumps promises a lot of things. There's a reason I don't let her come to these meetings anymore. Trying to give away the world. So the two store thing, do you think that's going to be something that would might be happening this year or might happen sometime in the near future? Uh, no, um, I, I don't. I don't want to commit to anything like that uh, since we are just now starting to talk about it in this forum as a thing like, hey, what would this even look like if we decided to do it? Um, and we don't have necessarily an answer to that. I can't put a timeline on it. Uh, I have a whole roadmap that goes all the way through the entire year of things that I do know we want to do and I know basically how we want to do them. Um, so it's it's hard for me to commit now to even a timeline as generous as sometime this year. But, you know, that being said, right, like, once we get past the first, let's call it two quarters worth of really set in stone, there will be no budging, these have already been sold to the board, et cetera, et cetera, items. Um, you know, there's the, the timeline does open up a little bit. Um, and, you know, that's when we start negotiating for, hey, what's, what's the most important thing to do today? Uh, what is, you know, what's, what's going to move the needle the most? Um, and I think, you know, things along the lines of sub-brands, certainly belong in that conversation. I mean, that's how variants got in uh, for, you know, this quarter and next quarter, right? Is, you know, these are the types of things that we knew people really, 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 really want. Um, and we really, really, really want to give you the things that you really, really, really want. Uh, you can so. throw out the question and answer thing, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, Thanks. just throw that out, because I, I don't think I could deal with that. <laughs> Heard. A lot of the questions I get are user error stuff and things that I don't have a control over and stuff. So it's, it, if they were listed on the marketplace, it would just make it really difficult. Right. Totally understand. Um, let's see here. Lucy, that's an interesting question. Are there anticipated viewer changes dependency necessary to facilitate the current Envision Premium Plus feature set? Uh... I don't think so. I think we handled all of the viewer stuff already. Um, but it's a it's a good question. It's not one that I can answer directly since I don't work on the viewer, but I'm pretty sure that the remaining scope of work is largely um, on the, let's call it, web and infrastructure side. It's a little bit how the sausage gets made, but yeah. Well, okay, that's fair. Grid scope experiences might require viewer changes. I don't know that they do. I know, see, you're right. This is this was a trap. Lucy trapped me. I was going to ditch the uh, 
the, the fixed function rendering engine in the old OpenGL 1.2 and 1.3 checks and GLH or LLGL, whatever that, the heck it's called. Wrong form for that. Uh, can't answer that question. That sounds like a viewer question. Uh, sorry, I was, uh, Lucy, I was responding to a different, different question. Um, so the, the grid scope experiences, I, I don't think we need to make changes in the viewer for those. I really don't. I think those are largely infrastructural and simulator changes, not viewer. I don't think the client cares about your experiences. The simulator cares about experiences, but I don't think the viewer does. Similar with larger scripts. But we're, we're definitely moving into territory. Are we going to negotiate acquiring them? How are you going to negotiate acquiring them? I'm, I'm, I don't know. What do you mean acquiring? Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, there might be some small UI changes that need to, you know, so that right now you've got, yeah. Okay, fair enough. But no, like, major infrastructural changes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not... You Don't, don't trap me. Don't do that. Uh, I am not taking Grade Scope experiences off the table for Premium Plus by saying, hey, I don't think there's viewer work required. They're still on the table. One last question. Anybody? We got one minute. And then I gotta go to another meeting. Uh, what are your plans with the graphics engine? I have no plans for the graphics engine. Thank you. This is web team only. And that is it. Okay. I'll see you all in March. Do you guys have a QA department that like looks at your code like submits or do you follow any sorts of like standardization or the convention when you're working on the viewer? That's what my team does. Okay, okay. Well, I, I don't know where the meeting in Hippotropolis. Okay. on the, the client like the rendering engine one of these days because I've been poking at it <laughs>